story is being told in there. I'll ask Myron, the book that you read, Rebecca's Revival. So this is the fort, and these are the cells over here where Rebecca and Mateus and Friedrich were kept. And the slaves would run down to the side. You'd have to envision that. And they would preach out to the slaves. Uh, and the slaves would uh, throw back encouragement to them, right? And the soldiers would come and chase them away, and it was like a cat and mouse game, though. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. I knew it was you right away. I saw Sankofa. I said, that's my Because <laughs> you, you taught me. You taught me. <laughs> you good? I'm Hello. good. I'm good. You're welcome. I want, to, I want to first say, you know what? This is like the cream on anything we could have ever planned is to have Myron Jackson here. Okay. Myron has been, uh, I don't know, historian, historical preservation, a senator's um, historical, I mean, a heritage foundation. Well, good morning and welcome, and it's real honor to uh, be asked by Pastor Kimberter to guide you on our history and our culture of the United States Virgin Islands, which did not begin in 1917 when these islands were sold to the United States for $25 million and go. You will be quizzed <laughs> at the end of the tour and during your stay. <laughs> So, so please our early take history, note. yes, has lots of pirates, stories of imprisonment, of hanging, of uh, deception, of theft, you name it, it was here. Uh, this is the Emancipation Garden. I mentioned to you that there is a King's Wharf where that safari is and that white van. That's King's Wharf. All of this was water up to the green truck. If you took the... Okay, there you go, Pastor. Hi, sweetheart. How are you? Hey, that's you. You have a child. That's your son? Yes. Okay. How old is he? Just like six Oh, today's your birthday? Oh, man. Happy birthday, man. Happy birthday. Long life and good health. <laughs> You're welcome. The in the Virgin Islands, we have several genres of storytelling. The most popular is the Brew Nancy stories. And Nancy or Brew Nancy, for us, wasn't a spider. It was a, uh, just, I should say, just a spider, but a spider with human quality. But again, that particular style of storytelling came directly out of West Africa here. When you're walking close to a cemetery, you yell out loud and you start to talk hard. And that will scare the Jumbi them away. Frustration in, you know, plain, you know, words. They did this this way. I went to the shop with a quart to buy 15 cent When I look in my hand, them shopkeeper gave me tally for change. Roll Isabella, roll. Roll Isabella, roll. Roll Isabella, roll. Them shopkeeper got the island down. Man, I hear some lovely voices there. Yeah. area called Skyline Drive, Valdemar Hill looked out when we're looking downtown Charlotte Amelie. This is how you know we have Larima. We all go close to the, uh, the dolphin hood. You see all the dolphin hood to go? You see, oh, there's Larima.
like we're working on diversity in our denomination. And I hope this could be the beginning of something that we'll be able to model for church-wide. So get ready to welcome the team from the Virgin Islands and I hope we will continue. Yes. Meetings from your siblings in a story organ at Peace First Lutheran Church. Whatever, whoever, wherever that distant land may be, and regardless of how long we have been there, the message of today's gospel is exceedingly clear. God is waiting with open arms and a forgiving heart to welcome us home, to reconcile us in love and to rejoice in our restoration, our homecoming. What are we waiting for?